Hello and welcome back again my wonderful community. In today's video we are going to be learning the two major types of transitioning that has been on ground for years and how we are going to use our keyboard mapping to perfect or to do the same transitioning you have seen a lot of DJ do. So the two major transitioning we are going to be dealing with right now are going to be the smooth transitioning and the sudden switch transitioning. Take note. These are the major keys that are, we are going to be using in this particular video. If you are having this mapping, John, just follow what I'm doing and take note. You are going to be able to do it exactly the way I'm doing. So first, I believe you have your mapping well set up. The first thing you need to do there is you need to have your track, one track loaded on your first deck. Irrespective of the deck. Let's say for example, we are going to be starting with the deck 2. In this case, this is our deck 2. Now look at it. You need to set your cue point at the starting point of the song. Let me also show you the wave so that you get to see. You can see this is the starting point of the song. Here is the sound. So you see, pam, pam, pam. So that is the first point of the beat as it starts. Then another track will be on the other deck. And make sure the two BPM are the same. Look at it, 215 BPM, 115 BPM on the same side. So we are going to start with the sudden switch. Then later we'll move to the smooth transition. So the sudden switch transition in this case is we need to also identify the first point of this particular track that is loaded here. Let's switch. We are going to use our caps, our tab key here. Once we tap, it switches to this very deck. So look at it. So, so you can see the start. So we have already identified it. Then we will set our cue point. That means by using our control one. We set the cue point on this very point. The same thing on this other deck to control one. We set the cue point on this very deck. So we have gotten the perfect point to start the starting of the two tracks. So by this point, I'm going to start this very deck. Then after a while, I'm going to switch to this other deck. Just take note. I'm going to be using my letter H at this point to start this song. Any of the deck that I'll be playing, I'll be using the letter H to start it. Then I'm also going to be using the same letter H to start. But in this case, when we are going to be switching, we'll be using the letter G. That means by the time we start with letter H, when it is playing, we will now switch from this deck, which is which I've started playing, to the second deck. Now we we'll tap on the letter G at a particular point. That means as we count the one, two, three, four, then it will start. Let's see it in practice now. Look at it. So you can see it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So I'm going to be using my taps tap uh, button to switch to the next deck, next deck look at it i've tapped now i've switched to the other deck done at this point we are we will continue with the counting then get to see by the time i'm going to be tapping on the data g it will automatically stop this deck and this other deck will start uh, and it will look as if it's a continuation of the other bit that is playing look, look at it one two three four one two three four So you can see how there was sudden change without any effect so everything was just flowing smoothly very perfect no confusion anywhere so you can see how powerful this mapping is you can do all sort of things scratches bit my bit mapping bit matching and the rest of them finger drumming bricks echoes and the rest of them so the list is endless so we have seen this very first part now we are going to use the same demonstration process in this case to now do a smooth transition from this deck 2 now back to deck 1 but in this very case we are going to be playing it while this one is playing we will now bring in the second deck then in this case we are not going to be listening to the track i'm going to mute the volume of this track but i'm going to be using the letter h in a way that is going to be very low or we can use the tap key this very tap key to start it then we will now bring up the volume then we will now switch to this other deck that means we are going to be doing the smooth type of start and raising the volume of this other deck which will be, which will be our new song then we'll switch to this other one just watch make sure you are selected on the new deck that you are about to start by tapping on this make sure it is highlighted so everything is the same the synchronization is okay if you want to synchronize you don't need to stress yourself once you combine this shift key with your space bar to automatically synchronize that is the instruction for the synchronization so in this case everything is synchronized already so we are going to start it now watch it so we are going to mute this sound that means the sound of this very one first we are going to turn off the bass So 
I'm starting now. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using the letter Y now to increase the volume. That is. So you can see smooth transitioning from this deck to this deck very smooth no any confusion in the beat the beats are perfectly synchronized perfectly hitching each other and matching on a very perfect mood so that is how to do transitioning sudden switch transitioning and smooth transitioning so i believe you learned something in this very video catch you in my next video as i continue to bring you more information more entertainment more value of high level of this nature as I continue to get into your...